I want to begin this whole mastermind by talking about the mindset and what separates those who fail in business, the majority, from those who succeed. If we can identify those traits of the ones who succeed and you can implement them, you can adopt some of those traits, your success rate goes right, right up. Number one, guys, pay attention to this. Number one, here's the most important thing. If you want to be successful in business, the business needs to be a top three priority in your life. A top three priority. You know, often I get people who come to me and they say, Matt, I'm really struggling in business. Or maybe they're in the affiliate program and they say, I'm really struggling to get my first few sales coming in. So I say to them, okay, well, how much time are you putting into your business every day? And they say, well, you know, I'm busy. I've got a job. I, I try and put in like at least 15, 20 minutes a day, but sometimes I just get too busy. I've got too much going on. And I say, well, what have you got going on? And they say, well, you know, it's the holidays and my, my boss at work and this, you know, life is just really busy. And immediately I can tell that in an order of priority, their business, it's not in the top three, it's not even in the top 10. Immediately I can tell that they're just treating it like a hobby. They're treating it like a little hobby that they do on the side. You think you're going to succeed if that's how you look at your business? No. Okay. Number two. Okay, so we're looking at the traits of successful entrepreneurs. Write this one down. They know their market intimately well. Okay, they know their market intimately well. When they create marketing campaigns to go and get customers, they know exactly who they're going after. You know, part of the reason why Mobe's done pretty well is I know my, my customer avatar so well, okay? I know that person I'm marketing to. Do you know why? Do you know why? You've heard this before because I used to be that person. I know what the typical internet marketer is going through. I spent several years struggling to make my first few sales struggling to learn how to build websites and do email marketing and, and pay-per-click, all of these things that a lot of you are struggling with, I went through that. All successful marketers, all successful business owners know exactly who that person is. I'll give you an example. Microsoft, um, well over a decade ago, they actually came out with the first tablet. A lot of people think it was Apple with the iPad. It actually wasn't. It was Microsoft. And here's how the story goes. Microsoft comes out with this, this, uh, you know, this tablet, and it's got a stylus, okay? It's got one of those little pens, and it's got a little keyboard. And one day, um, Steve Jobs, his wife, was friends with someone pretty high up in Microsoft who was developing this tablet. And the friend invites uh, Steve Jobs' wife and Steve Jobs to this party. And at the party... He's telling Steve Jobs about this tablet and how it's going to change the world and, and, uh, and everyone's going to be using tablets. And Steve Jobs started to get really annoyed because this guy had been talking about it like 10 times. And I can't tell you the language he used. I was reading about it the other night. But he got so annoyed about it because he saw that they were doing it wrong. He said, no, if you're going to do a tablet, don't do a stylus, don't do a keyboard. It's got to be touch screen. What he did is he went back to Apple, back to their offices, and he said, let's get to work. Let's create our own version. Here's how we're going to do it. Because he knew that the average person didn't want to use the keyboard and the stylus. He knew that they liked touch. Okay, they wanted to do it with their fingers. So they went to work and they created the first prototype. And uh, they actually ended up turning that into an iPhone. Okay, into an iPhone, and then they launched iPhone. And then several years later, they, uh, they actually launched the iPad. But the difference between the two is that Steve Jobs knew his market well. He knew what they wanted before they even knew it themselves. Number three, this one's critical. I want you to write this down. Their ability to craft irresistible and unique offers that stand out in a crowded marketplace. The very best marketers, the very best business owners, they're able to put together irresistible offers that their customers can't resist. Okay? Whoever has the most irresistible offer wins. In your business right now, what's your offer? Okay, what's your offer that you're using to get customers? 
Here's what I want you to understand. You are just one offer away from getting rich. Just one offer away from getting rich. FedEx, what's their irresistible offer? What's their little slogan? When they say, when it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. That's how FedEx was launched. The guy behind FedEx, does anyone know his name? Yep. Fred Smith. So... Fred Smith, he was either at Yale or Stanford, one of those, and he wrote his thesis on, uh, on this business called FedEx, this idea he had for Federal Express. And his lecturer, when he handed it in, his lecturer actually said, that's a bad idea, this will never work. Okay, <laughs> this will never work. Well, his, his lecturer was quite wrong. Well.